Let me tell you the story of my hunting season and why I'm never hunting in one of these ever again. It has really been a rough year for me hunting. On October 15th, I had the perfect opportunity to shoot my first ever deer, a nice little spike buck. It wandered into the clearing right out in front of me, just behind one little branch. I stood there and waited for 20 minutes for this deer to take one step out into the clearing and I would take my shot. It finally took that one step forward. I drew back, took the shot, the deer jumped back about 10 yards and just stood there. I couldn't believe it. Could I have missed? How could I have missed? It was a 20 yard shot. As I'm thinking this, the deer's just standing there staring off in my general direction, but it didn't know exactly where I was. So I reached up into the quiver and I grabbed another arrow, put it in the bow, got ready to go, but it was still behind this one branch. So I waited a couple of minutes it walked forward a couple of steps in the clearing. I drew back and at 30 yards, I took a second shot. And I missed even worse. The deer turned around and just wandered off. I sat there disgusted with myself. I didn't know what to think. How could I possibly miss? The next night, I went back out to the stand. I discovered that my sights were a little messed up. I thought, could it have been my sights that were wrong? Did I make a mistake? What happened? I headed out Monday night to take a few reenactment shots. And hit nothing but bullseyes. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What could I have done wrong? Over the next couple of weeks, I spent a lot of time in the stand. Nothing really ever came in close enough for me to have an opportunity, but I did see a few deer here and there. One night, I even took my good luck charm out with me in the stand. Well, I got a little help tonight. Hopefully, see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A few days after Libby and I were in the stand, I was out one morning and out in front of me, about 85 yards, I had a buck cut across this field in front of me. And that really got me thinking. So I came out later that night and sat in the stand. And I had two does come into the field out in front of me at about 120 yards, just grazing around and hanging out. But they never came in close. This, had, this went on until sundown. I ended up going into the house, pretty upset with the way that the day had gone. But I was still thinking about that buck from the morning. And I thought, what if I go down that field about halfway in the, the, the next morning and I set up and when that thing walks out back in front of me, I'll have a perfect opportunity at it at about 20 yards and it'll never see me sitting there. That was exactly what my plan was gonna be for the next morning. I got up, I started getting my gear on and getting ready to go and it dawned on me, crap. My tripod for my camera is still mounted up in the stand from the night before. I really wanted to film the experience, so against my better judgment, I decided to just go sit in the stand again that morning. Sure enough, just like clockwork, that buck walked out into the field at the exact moment and the exact spot it had the morning before. I thought, what an idiot! I should have just abandoned the camera and gone down there and had the opportunity to shoot this buck. But just then as I'm thinking that, the buck turns and starts walking directly at the stand, right towards me. I couldn't believe it. It's at 60 yards and then it was at 50 yards and I had a huge problem. I was still sitting in the stand. I was expecting it to cut across the field just like it had done the morning before and I didn't get myself ready to do anything. When it got to 40 yards, it put its head down like it was gonna start grazing in the field. And I thought, this is my opportunity to stand up. So I slowly stood up in the stand, got clipped into the bow, ready to go. And as I peeked over my shoulder to see where that buck was at, it was dead locked on the stand, just staring directly at me. I was busted, I couldn't do anything about it. We looked at each other for a couple of seconds it took one leap to the right and it was running to the north and gone forever in a flash. Pretty disgusted with myself and everything that I had done. I didn't spend much more time in the stand that morning. 
About a week or so after that, my buddy Jamie came up to do a little hunting with me and he brought along a ground blind that was given to uh, him to give to me from one of our mutual friends, Ken. Pretty sweet ground blind. I actually am quite amazed at how cool they are. We spent some time in it and didn't really see any deer, but um, but you know, it, it's amazing how comfortable it is. You're in there, nice comfortable environment. I had my little heater going to stay warm. Man even came out and hung out with me for a few nights, which was really cool to have him out in the stand with me. Well, we didn't see anything tonight, so try again in the morning. But I really never saw anything sitting out there. If I had any gripe at all, I would say that the biggest problem with it is, is that I really can't stand up to take a shot because the windows are too short. So I kind of have to crouch down or shoot from a seated position. But but that's not really the point. The point is, is that I shouldn't be sitting in this ground blind at all. I should have shot my deer on October 15th when I missed it twice. So as punishment to myself, I am gonna go out and I am gonna target shoot morning, noon, and night from now until next year's deer opener. Maybe I'll learn my lesson. Just five more shots.